Welcome to this Study Abroad 101 information session, where I will be posing and helping you answer the question, is factory-led study abroad right for you? My name is Annalie Jones, and I work in Miami's Education Abroad Office to coordinate our faculty-led programs. Here are some of the questions that I will be answering today. I'll give an overview of what faculty-led programs are. I'll explain their costs and any scholarships with which may be available to you. And because we cannot ignore the situation we are in, I will address COVID-19 and its implications for study abroad this winter. Finally, I will introduce our winter programs and share with you ways to find out more about specific programs. Faculty-led programs are led by, you guessed it, Miami faculty who teach Miami courses for Miami credit. Faculty-led programs offer experiential learning opportunities where the location is your classroom. During the courses, students will visit important sites, meet with community members, and engage directly with the local culture. These locations could be all around the world, including within the United States. Domestic programs are what we call study away programs. Faculty-led programs primarily take place during the summer and winter terms, and they spend various amounts of time in the program destinations. The courses offered vary by program, with some offering major or minor coursework and others fulfilling Miami plan requirements. Any program that is international will fulfill the global perspectives requirements. Some programs offer three credits, others six, and some vary in between. Faculty-led programs are a great fit for you if you want to travel with the comfort of having the Miami community there with you for the adventure. Also, they are a great fit if you are looking for specific course requirements that a faculty-led program can fulfill. Studying abroad for the short term with a faculty-led program can be a great opportunity for those who cannot or do not want to go abroad for a full semester. If you've ever sat around the house for a long six week winter break, a faculty led program is a great opportunity to get out of town and gain unique experience where you can develop your intercultural skills or even gain some professional experience. However, faculty led programs may not be for everyone, especially those who are looking to break out from the Miami community, go abroad for a semester or more, or those who have their heart set on a location that a Miami faculty-led program does not offer. Additionally, I want to point out that you may not be able to use certain scholarships within your existing scholarship and financial aid package on faculty-led programs. When students are awarded their financial aid package, it is often the case that it is meant to cover just eight semesters. Winter and summer term would then be an additional term of study that your current financial aid package may not be taking into account. To figure out how you can use your existing financial aid and scholarships, meet with a one-stop financial aid advisor. If you think that Miami faculty-led programs may not be for you, there are other options. You could study at Miami's campus in Luxembourg during the summer or for a full semester. If you want to branch out from the Miami community, there are transfer credit programs or exchanges. To learn more about these options and to figure out which is best for you, you can meet virtually with an education abroad advisor. Now I'm going to break down the cost of faculty-led programs. There are three main payments that are paid directly to Miami in addition to personal costs that you will need to pay separately. The first main cost is tuition. This cost is the per credit hour tuition rate. As the number of credit hours varies across programs, so does the total tuition cost. Miami applies an out-of-state partial tuition waiver that discounts the tuition cost for study abroad and study away programs for non-Ohio residents. This waiver is applied automatically to your bursar bill where you will pay tuition in the same manner that you would for on-campus tuition. Additionally, there is a $175 administrative fee 
added to your bursar bill for these programs. The third cost paid to Miami is the program fee. This program fee is for the additional costs that tuition does not cover. Both the amount of the program fee and what is included in the program fee varies amongst programs. For an example, a program fee could include your housing, program activities and site visits that may have entrance fees, transportation during the program, especially if the program takes place in multiple locations, and some meals. Program fee payments are not paid on your Bursar account. Within your application, there will be a link to the program's payment portal where you will pay these fees. Once you are accepted, you will need to make a deposit payment as soon as possible. This deposit payment is part of the program fee and it indicates your commitment as well as secures your spot in the program. The deposit is non-refundable, so while you want to make the program fee payment as soon as possible, you will want to be sure that you are ready to commit. The deposit is due no later than October 1st. After you pay your deposit, there is still the balance of your program fee that still needs to be paid. The full program fee balance is due by November 1st. Now on to additional personal costs. Oftentimes, your transportation to the program location is not included. So you would need to secure your international flight separately from the program fee. Personal costs could also include any shopping or personal travel you do during the program, your international health insurance, and any meals that are not covered by the program fee. The additional personal expenses vary both by program and by student. But to help you understand the amount of personal costs, there is an estimated amount displayed on each program site. Now, you may be wondering if there are any scholarships available. Yes, there are. You can receive up to $1,500 by applying to the Miami Family Fund grant for winter by July 1st. Additionally, the Miami Global Initiatives Office offers scholarships that are a part of any faculty-led program application. So there's not a separate application for this. Again, apply by July 1st. A tip I like to share with students is to reach out to the program director and your academic department to see if they have any scholarships that you can apply to a study abroad experience. There are many national scholarships as well. You will need to do your research to find which scholarships you are eligible for. A good place to start your research is on our Education Abroad website. The key, again, is to apply early. Before I get into this winter's programs, I want to first address the evolving situation of the coronavirus. Currently, we are planning ahead for study abroad to take place for the winter. We will be announcing regular updates as we learn more about this evolving situation and as more decisions are made. If travel is restricted for the winter term, Miami will cancel the study abroad program and payments will be refunded back to you. But as of now, I am excited to look ahead to winter as a time when we can be traveling and learning abroad again. We have many faculty-led programs this winter, so I do not have time to go over all of them. Rather, I will give a brief overview and show you how you can learn more about the specific programs that interest you. This winter, we have over 30 faculty-led programs in 25 countries, including the U.S., that teach courses in 28 different subjects. Please note these deadlines. The July 15th deadline follows the Miami Family Fund and Global Initiative Scholarship deadlines. Applications are reviewed on a rolling basis, meaning that a program can fill up prior to these deadlines, so apply early. Any program that is still accepting applicants will have their applications open until October 1st. You can explore these programs on our website. Okay, so what do we want to do? Find a program. And when do we want to go abroad? Winter. Quick note, the summer page lists programs for 
uh, this summer. Summer 2021 programs will be listed soon, so check back. To receive regular updates of applications opening, subscribe to our newsletter. Our programs are listed here by program topic. Even if your major does not fall into these categories, most programs are open to students of all majors. This website is really great for window shopping. You can explore the different topics and read short blurbs about the programs. When one catches your attention, click on the link below to learn more. All the programs here are planned for this winter. However, not all have open, open applications, which is why a learn more button may be missing. If you are interested in a program that does not have a learn more button, check back soon. This button leads you to the application site for the program. It highlights the details of the experience, including the dates, the courses, location and housing, and that cost table. For the application process, please keep in mind that you can only have two applications open per term. So if you are no longer interested in a program that you have applied to, please withdraw your application. All programs will take into consideration your disciplinary history and GPA. Some programs also require an interview or an essay so that the program director can learn more about you. Once you have researched a program, you may have additional questions. The best person to ask these questions to is the program director. They know all the details. You can do this by email or by clicking the request more information button and filling out this form, which will go directly to the program director. If you want more general assistance to study abroad, you should schedule an advising meeting with an education abroad advisor. Once you are on this site, you can go to the home page and see a list of all faculty-led programs. Additionally, you can filter programs by using this search tool. To find out more, start researching our website. There are upcoming information sessions led by faculty about their specific programs, which you can learn about by going to this Globalcast link. See what is coming up and hear directly from the faculty. As always, contact us. We are here.